everyone, it's Izzy from Badger Forest School and I'm joined by Hedra today as well. And this is the second part um, of mindfulness, thinking particularly about breathing and breathing exercises and how we can help our, ourselves through breathing. So hopefully you looked at last week's video and we've discussed a little bit about the importance of breathing and maybe you even tried um, some of the activities suggested on there so either using numbers or shapes to help you with breathing or maybe you tried the bumblebee breath or the dragon breath and if you did how did you get on did you find it calmed you down or maybe you might have found with the dragon breath it fired you up a little bit it gave you a little bit of energy so this week we are going to be exploring a couple of more animals and Hedra might have to move off my lap but she's settling down and also using props as well. So as we said before breathing helps to focus the mind a little bit, helps to calm you down, helps to get rid of that bit of negativity or that stress or that fear that we've spoken about before but also there's a few physiological benefits so obviously using your lungs and deep breathing exercises your lungs increases their capacity and their efficiency which means more oxygen is getting into our bloodstreams and this can be really beneficial for our health and for our immune system so there's some really good benefits of practicing breathing and just taking that time and being mindful has that calming influence as it does if you have an animal in your household or you get to see wildlife or you get to be in nature or you get to come outside it all has that calming and grounding effect on us so today i thought we could talk a little bit about props and also a couple other animals um, but bringing in some movement as well so one prop that you can use um, are these bubbles hopefully everybody's got some bubbles and it's really really popular i can do some hedra really popular with our cubs and our preschool groups but you are mindfully and actively breathing so if you have some bubbles maybe give that a go today or maybe you can make some bubbles have a little google and see what you can find so that's one prop if you don't have bubbles you can go and find maybe feathers or dandelions is another really good one that you can blow you can even have races with leaves or maybe other materials you find in your house and practice your breathing that way so another good idea with props is a breathing buddy now this uh, can be a little toy so this is my freddy the frog uh, if you don't have a toy to hand maybe you could use a stone or a shell or something in your house maybe um, like a paperweight and the idea of a breathing buddy is that you pop you lie down pop this on your tummy and you watch it rise and fall as you breathe and you concentrate on rising and falling a little breathing buddy to help you concentrate your breath so maybe you want to try that too thinking about animals and bringing in a bit of movement you can do the monkey breath so monkey breath we're practicing our inhale and exhale but we're going to bring up our arms up some monkey arms and move our monkey arms as we breathe in we bring up our arm and then as we exhale drop it down and bring it up our arm and drop it down so feel like you're a big weight but ugh, you're a bit annoyed as a monkey so bring it in So a bit of a monkey breath and monkey arms. Another sweet one that you can do is lion breath. And either you can call, uh, link in a roll, so you can get vocal, or you can 
bring in a bit of a yawn and stick your tongue out. So you can be cross-legged or on your knees or crouching down and you put your hands in front and imagine you're a lion or a cat and breathe in through your nose. And let your tongue hang out. Ready to do it again. And stretch those arms. You should feel the stretch down your back and in your arms as well. So it's a bit of a lion roar or a lion yawn you can do. Another really lovely one um, is twisting with our breath. Now it depends what animal you want to choose for this one. Maybe you want to feel a bit like a snake or maybe there's another animal, let me know. And you breathe in. And as you breathe out, you're gonna twist. Now, you're concentrating on twisting your body, not so much your neck. Always look after your head and your neck. And you breathe in, and it's as you breathe out that you twist, so almost to see how far you can go. And the final one for today, which is a really sweet one, I'm gonna stand up so hopefully you can see me, um, is incorporating an elephant. And you're a bit of a cheeky elephant because your hands are gonna be the trunk and you're grabbing some water and you're going to squirt the water out and in front of you. So always with movements, breathing in is going up and breathing out is coming down. You can also call this the wood cutter as well. So you can imagine you've got an ax or a piece of wood above your head and you're dropping it down. But I quite like the elephant, the cheeky elephant. So stand up. Hopefully you can see. And you're gonna be the cheeky elephant. So you can do that as many times as you want to on that one. So come down to your knees and bring your hands together at your heart and let's do one big breath in and out and close your eyes and just set your intention or your feelings for the day. Just remember we're being completely non-judgmental here as we're mindful in the moment. And maybe give yourself a little bit of gratitude for taking some time out in your day. Namaste. See you soon.